I talked about this on Twitter. I said that this interview preview looks like a trailer to the season finale of some trashy reality show. And uh, when you hear the music with it, when you see the way that Trump reacts and, and like this back and forth, I can't not think this is a reality show, but it's so perfectly representative of American politics because of the reality show aesthetic that it has, if that makes sense. And I've got to say, my boy Donald Trump is looking wet and sloppy as ever, and I absolutely love that for him. You know, uh, kudos. You know, you're confident. You look wet all the time. I don't like. I don't know how he looks so wet. I think it's probably the self tanner, and then like when you sweat through that, it makes it look super wet and gross. Either way, you know, he rocks it. He's confident in himself, I guess. Um, always looks, <laughs> always looks shitty, but you know, he's wet. He's still here, man. Okay, Piers, I'm ready. A former president in denial. I'll be completely straight with you to your face. I think I'm a Ooh, hang on. We got to go back. I'm not one to do ad hominem attacks, but God damn, my boy looks like he's about to fucking die. Look at that fucking face. Holy shit, Trump. And even like his lips, like usually you have the orange and then it cuts off. So it kind of looks like he's wearing eyeliner. But now the lips, like you have his lips are pale. Like he just looks like a corpse. Like, you know, when you go to a funeral and if they have an open casket, you see the dead body and it looks fake. This is what that looks like. It looks like a dead body. I mean, holy fuck. He looks like shit. God damn. I think I'm a very honest man. Much more honest than you. <laughs> Much more honest than you. He will never change. Trump is somebody who can never, ever. like he Even if he tried to be a respectable adult try to behave like a functioning adult he couldn't he's incapable of it i feel like this man is like uh there's like a child's brain in this body or there's an alien who's like operating his facial features and controlling his body like trump is a giant organic mech and there's something in his head controlling him like it's just i've never seen a grown person act like this and regardless of how long he's been in the public eye i mean this man was president for four years it's still astonishing how petulant and bizarre his behavior is as a child like my six-year-old nephew or he just turned seven but he's way more intelligent and mature than Donald Trump. Like, I could have a more intelligent conversation with my seven-year-old nephew than I could with Donald Trump. Donald Trump is just so weird. Like, he, he'd he be squirming throughout the conversation. Like, he, he can't wait to uh, talk about himself that he's just daydreaming through the point that you're making because he wants to be the one to talk. He's just, he's a perma kid. He's a perma child. Really? Yeah. It was a free and fair He lost. Only a fool would think You think that. I'm a fool? Only a fool would think that. You think I'm a fool? I hate um, Pierce Morgan too, but I love that he's just like stirring up beef with someone who I, I guess is his friend. Do now, yeah. With Excuse respect. me. Wait, oh. Think you think I'm a fool? Really? Yeah. It was a free and fair match. He lost. Only a fool would think You think I'm a fool? I do now, yeah. With respect. Excuse me. Okay, with respect. <laughs> Excuse me. Whenever, he, whenever Trump drops the, excuse me. You know he's fucking serious. You know he's serious. When he when he takes his palms and he puts them together like this and does, excuse me, he's not fucking around. He's about to drop a bomb. Look at this. God damn, he looks wet and sweaty too. What is it with fucking uh, right-wing dipshits? Like, they all look bloated and uncomfortable to just exist. I don't know what it is about them. Maybe it's because they're, they're like so much evil that this is how it manifests. Like, if anyone played uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, you can make decisions as a character that would eventually uh, make you turn to the dark side. And as you got more and more evil and you accumulated more points that made you more evil, you'd start to look more evil. And I feel like this is like what happens when your character is like, you make every decision that's evil. You choose to kill every NPC. You choose to do like horrible shit, right? This is the outcome. This is what your character would end up looking like. The legacy. Excuse me. God damn. He's like, hang on. We got to go back again. Like, I don't want to continuously, you know, harp on this, but why is he so wet? He looks like a sponge. Like his skin just absorbs moisture and keeps it there. They're sweating the good cells off of them. I, I mean, perhaps. I mean, he just looks like he's dying. Me. The most explosive interview of the year. I don't think you're real. It's, I really it's just, I'm not like very dishonest. Let's finish up the interview. Morgan versus Turn Trump. The camera off. Very dishonest. Morgan versus Trump. 
God, at what point did politics mirror reality television? Like, was it all, I mean, American politics, let's be clear, was always stupid, but at what point did it basically become a reality show? Was it when Trump became president? Reality show star? I mean, look at that. How is this a real person? So disgusting. So disgusting. I mean, fuck. I don't know what to say. It's just, uh, it's really gross. I'm gonna come. Disgusting. They both attract narcissists. Yeah, I mean, look, money can buy you a lot of things. It can't buy class, but it can make you more appealing as a partner. Like, this man is married. Imagine marrying Donald Trump. Imagine kissing this. Like, the thought, honestly, grosses me out. Like, if somebody was like, Mike, for a million dollars, would you uh, let Trump give you a big sloppy kiss? I would say uh, no. If somebody was like, okay, here's your decision here. We're going to chop off your head in a guillotine. Or you can spare your life by kissing Donald Trump or licking, like, the wet off of his face. I would choose the guillotine. No, like not even fucking kidding. No cap. I would choose the guillotine. Like that's how gross and repulsive he is. It's so fucking sick. Like what a disgusting person. What do the comments say? (laughs) Okay. The first comment, my dude looking great, right? How can you not point that out? He looks somehow less orange in this than, um, than this right here. Maybe they upped the, uh, saturation, but like the first one is, they look, hey, my dude looking great. He looks like a glazed ham. Okay, this makes me feel a little bit better about focusing on the aesthetic because I can't, like, I can't think of anything but how shitty he looks. Like, he looks so terrible. I mean, imagine if he, <laughs> Dylan Burns. <laughs> imagine if he runs again. We'd have, like, fucking Joe Biden looking more like Tales from the Crypt than ever versus, like, Patrick from Spongebob, but somehow wetter. I just don't... I don't know what's happening. God damn. I don't miss seeing that fucking face. <laughs> okay. I'm official. I officially get a pass for making fun of his looks, right? Because everyone else, that's what they're focusing on. You can't not focus on it. You can't not... Right? Thank you. Okay. I, I think that what it is that's maybe shocking to all of us is that we haven't seen him as much. Like, when he was president... His big, dumb, ugly, wet face was on television 24-7. But we haven't seen him for a long time. So now to, like, see him again after he's, like, exponentially more wet and sloppy, it's almost jarring. Like, it's shocking to look at. Is he okay? Right. I mean, he, he, he is this from the same interview? I mean, the man, I don't know how he's alive. God damn, this still image here. Tucker Carlson Originals presents the end of men. Um, fucking, when I was looking at this earlier, my husband said he looks like the uh, the dad from Dinosaurs. Let me pull that up. Earl Sinclair. Yeah, that is Earl Sinclair. This is the human equivalent of Earl Sinclair. Like, it's uncanny, is it not? God damn, Donald Trump. The fuck? Pier- yeah, this does kind of look like Pierce Morgan. What the fuck? Okay, I don't feel bad now for f- fixating on his looks. That's all that everyone is doing. That's all everyone is doing. Because how could you not? I mean, this these uh, still images are, are truly horrifying. It's truly horrifying. It wasn't rigged. You're just a loser. I mean, my man, you have so much shit to work with here. Why would you use a different still image? I got to go back to the fucking Earl Sinclair one. God damn. What the fuck? Is that from that? Like, is that from the image? Yeah, Earl Sinclair. That's a good point. Earl had a better complexion because, like, he's a dinosaur. This is how you would expect a dinosaur, a humanoid, anthropomorphic dinosaur to look. But when you see Donald Trump, this is not how a human being should look. Like, I feel like this is absolutely not what a human should look like. Like, I mean, if aliens were to discover remnants of our old civilization 
and the only evidence of a human being's look that they found was Donald Trump, I mean, would that be an adequate representation of the human race? It'd be so fucked up. This is not what humans look like. This is like, I don't even know what it is. Again, like a humanoid sponge. Um. Oh, God damn. Is that, I just don't, like he looks so bad and there's so many stray hairs. I just, I don't know what to say. Yeah, this is just like making fun of him for his looks. But I just, I've never seen a human being look so... I, I, I don't even know, unhuman. How is it that like all the conspiracy theories revolve around like people who are not Trump being reptilian? Or like people who are not Trump being like, I don't know robots or some shit when this dude does not look like a human being how is there not more conspiracies about this trump is peak male form humanist report and you just have to get used to it <laughs> yeah i mean the problem is that like the way he combs his hair too he he takes like he lets his hair grow to like seven or eight inches and he just flips all of this back to cover up the fact that he has like male pattern baldness. I mean, we all get to it at some point, my dude. You're like 70 something years old. Um, it makes you look like a fruitcake to do that. Like to, with all the fucking like Jergens afterglow lotion. It's just, uh, it's so weird to look at, look at him. He looks like the epic smiley meme. <laughs> but this, but this meme looks happy though. Trump looks miserable. Like he looks like he wants to die. He looks like, He's absolutely miserable existing. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait,